I think baseball, more than any other sport, has a certain mysticism and magic to it. It has been going for so long, and the way it is played, pitch after pitch and batter after batter, with so much repetition, that what was thought impossible makes its way through the cracks and eventually shows itself on the diamond. Whether it's the amazing Mets, coming from last place to first out of nowhere, or Randy Johnson throwing a ball at 100 miles an hour, at the exact moment a bird streaked across the field, hitting it directly in midair in an explosion of feathers, baseball brings out the impossible. And on November 2nd, 2016, at exactly 11.44 p.m., the impossible happened. The Chicago Cubs, the lovable losers, won the World Series for the first time in 108 years. The last time those words were said, you would have had to be at a game to hear it, because television didn't exist, and the radio still didn't cover the games. It was so long in between championships that the number of years lost their meaning. But the last time the Cubs had won the World Series, women didn't even have the right to vote. The first black player in the history of the league, Jackie Robinson, wouldn't join the league for another 40 years. The phrase World War could only be found in fiction writing as World War I was six years away, and the word Titanic was still just a name on a blueprint. And when it happened, I can't tell you how much I cried, or how long, only that I did. So did my mother, and my brother, my aunt, my friend, and random strangers on the street. The Cubs had not won for so long that generations of fans spent their whole life and have never seen them win. The people in our lives that molded us into Cubs fans. The people who took us to our first games at Wrigley, where we were mesmerized by the ivy walls and iconic colors. These were the people that gave the sport life, and many of them were passed by the time they finally pulled it off. My own grandfather died while the Cubs played on his hospital television. The last thing he saw on this earth, besides the goodbyes of his loved ones, was the Chicago Cubs baseball game. It's that type of passion passed down from generation to generation, like old oral stories that radiates through the friendly confines. It was a catharsis of the spirit, we all imagine our loved ones trying to find the best spot in heaven to watch the game. I can even hear my own grandfather talking about how it's about goddamn time the Cubs won. Maybe he even saw me and my brother game four in Wrigley Field, the last game we lost in that series and the only playoff game I have ever been to. We stole an old lady's seat on accident and I gave my brother a piggyback ride for 50 yards of the friendly confines. But I bet my grandfather was laughing at us the whole time. Secretly proud we were going about the World Series in the right way.